Hello, this is Christina coming to you from sunny California and my kitchen corner. Today I would like to share with you my Pyrex DIY for Halloween. I have been admiring Jen Love on Instagram and also Peggy on YouTube. I'll link below their channel so that you can go and see what I'm talking about. I've noticed that they've been creating these lovely, amazing retro Pyrex Halloween displays. and I decided I want that I want this so bad and I told my husband I'm gonna go out shopping I'll be linking below my thrift store haul where I purchased most of these items unfortunately I was only able to find one Pyrex mixing bowl I also picked up a grab bag for $1.50 and it came with a bunch of stuff while I was at this I decided to create a Halloween display with items that I picked up at the thrift shop and I thought I have paints at home I can paint anything I want any color I want and decorate them with washi tape and printouts that I downloaded from the internet
started off by painting the side of the blue flower and then with some white paint let it dry I printed out some free printables that I googled and then I cut out a section that I liked and using the regular school glue stick And I did the same for the bigger one. So I painted my little boxes. I can decorate them with some washi tape.
Now this is what I came up with and I'm going to start with the bottom shelf. These are some boxes and they were in a $1.50 grab bag. I already own that candle and the little decorations so I just painted the candle to match my dishes. Here are some of the white plastic containers that came in that grab bag and I simply painted them different colors and added some washi tape to it. Here is that vintage coffee mug. After I washed it, I realized it did have a crack, but it's okay because I'm not gonna use it for hot drinks. I just wanted it for the display. I was really upset because I couldn't find any Halloween Pyrex mixing bowls, and my daughter found these at Target. I was able to purchase this at a very reasonable price because I had a gift card from Fetch Rewards. If you don't know about the Fetch Rewards, let me tell you about it. It's simply an app that you download onto your phone and you scan your grocery receipts and you earn points. And those points turn into dollars. They have a big selection of places that you can redeem your points. I normally redeem them at Home Goods, but this time I decided I was going to redeem them at Target. They came out to about $22 and change by using my $10 gift card. And also by using my Target red card, I was able to get an additional 5% off. So I ended up paying for the three mixing bowls $11 and change, and I thought that is great. So I must include that in my display and here they are. I have the light on because it's so dark in here and you can see the glare on the glass so I'll take pictures so that you can see them a little better. I'll be linking below my referral code in case you're interested in this Fitch app. You'll get points by signing up and I'll get points as well. Um, don't feel that you need to do this. I'm just telling you about this amazing program because I really like the Fetch Rewards program because I've been able to purchase a lot of items at home goods that I normally don't buy. And here are some items that I already had at home like that vase and this jack-o'-lantern and I painted it white and now I regret it because the original colors are the retro colors and I didn't realize that until after I painted it and I normally don't paint things white but I did this time. Now I'm going to remove that white paint and keep it in its original color, but that's for another day. Here is the fourth shelf and look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? And here is my main lady, the Pyrex mixing bowl that I found at the thrift store and I put some washi tape on it. And behind her is an owl. I picked him up from 99 cent store. And here is my pumpkin witch that my son bought me from Walmart a few years back. And isn't she lovely up there? So what do you think? Is this something that you would do? You would, would you create your own faux Pyrex containers like I did? If you like this video, please share, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I would appreciate it. Goodbye.